Hi guys, thank you for joining me for another episode of Dread Captures. We have an awesome video for you this week. Let me know your favorite clips down in the comments. As always, thank you for your support. Please like, subscribe, share with a friend, and I'll see you in the next video. This is just a great clip of a guy hunting and something insane happening to him. Check this out. Come up on this old lake way back in the woods and I saw an eagle all the way across it. You see the lake and I said, Lord, I sure would like to get close to that eagle because sometimes I feel like you don't always hear me, but if you hear me today, let me get close. I mean, how does that even happen? I had a bald eagle land on my shoulder. On TikTok, a user by the name Hidden on Google Earth recently shared a video that sent viewers into a whirlwind of gossip. In the clip, the TikToker is seen using a tablet to navigate a specific location on Google Maps. As they zoom in, what first appears to be a typical quiet field scattered with trees and grass suddenly reveals an unexpected sight. There, standing at a distance, is a tall, hairy, ape-like creature staring directly into the camera. Many viewers jump to the conclusion that this might be the elusive Bigfoot caught on camera. Skeptics, however, had their doubts. They argued that the figure could simply be a person in a mascot costume trying to prank viewers. Now, I didn't know this next part, but there are a lot of commenters saying that some people, upon spotting a Google Maps car approaching, will quickly dress up in costumes just to play tricks on future map users. And I actually think that's kind of funny. Anyhow, I'd love to know the real story behind this image. Police dash cam footage taken in Georgia in 2009 starts off in one of my favorite ways. A real situation, real time, real candid talking. However, very quickly into the video, I'm struggling to find what I'm looking for. Let's watch. At the farm, daddy's farm. I still got the land. And anybody coming on my property looking for no good, I'm going what the crap? What was that? Did you see that? Yes. Holy crap. What was that? That was on two feet, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. I haven't seen things, actually. Oh, my goodness. Please tell me we got that audio, or video. I think we're about to stand here. I think it's recording. Right after the male officer says, if anyone comes on my property, I'm shooting them. You can tell they see something. Honestly, I had to watch this numerous times just to see a little bit of anything. And I still can't really. A commenter said that there were three figures moving from right to left across the road. And yeah, I can see a little movement, but not enough to tell what it is. I will say this, an interesting thing I noticed were the tire marks in the middle of the road that might point to a time someone had to slam on the brakes to avoid hitting something. Nevertheless, let me know what you guys can see here. I feel like this clip started out with such promise. Driving by a field in the middle of the day, someone saw a strange animal that seemed like a wolf or a dog at first glance. 
But when they looked more closely, it was clear that this animal was different. They grabbed a camera to film it. But my God, please hold it still. If you can watch the video without getting a headache, notice that the animal has a lean build, long limbs, and many are saying that it's a chupacabra. For those that don't know, a chupacabra is a creature from legends and infamous for sucking blood out of animals. Like me, the person was baffled, not sure what to make of this. Now personally, I know that most chupacabra sightings end up being dogs or coyotes that are stricken with mange and just happen to be mistaken. But there really is something strange about these animals' lanky legs. They are really throwing me off. It almost looks like a baby moose or some type of mule deer. But anyhow, I'm interested in what you guys think. I can't really pin down what this could be. This is an interesting video here. Pay attention to the writing under the guy's face. It seems he's using some kind of facial recognition software. It lists his gender and age, and he's going through different facial reactions and his computer camera's picking up on them. Pretty cool. But watch as the door opens. Oh my. Look at the age of whoever just opened the door. When this hit online, the comments went nuts with theories. Many people were saying we have an ancient spirit or some type of ghost on our hands. Of course, some called for a hoax. Anyhow, if this is real, that would be pretty creepy to see. Okay, so this video comes from NVTV. It tells the story of a woman named Mandy. Mandy is from Massachusetts and her property backs up to the woods. Over the past year plus, she's been hearing and seeing strange things around her home. She eventually got a camera and started to tape some of the craziness she's been experiencing. Take a look. So this footage is taken from the back of her home. You can see it's snowy, it's dark, and yeah, I'm sure there's footsteps stuck out to you as well. As we zoom in, we see something moving out there. This is the thing that triggered the camera. And it definitely seems that it's the person or creature that has made these footprints. As soon as he starts to retreat and slink off into the night, it gets blurry. Now if we look at it slowed down and zoomed in, the view is a little better, but still hard to make out what this could be, other than just a person. Now there are people convinced that this is a Bigfoot, a Wendigo, a Dogman, a Mothman, etc. I mean, it could be a skinwalker, I'd believe that, but it doesn't fit the description of the other cryptids. And quite honestly, it just looks like a person. But when you take into account all of the details, it really is odd. So it's in the dead of winter in Massachusetts, a foot of snow on the ground, middle of the night, walks away from the property back into the woods. Mandy says there's nothing back there but woods. Not to mention, you can see it came pretty close to the house. And it's just her and her children there. I'm interested in what you guys think. Look, I don't know what it is, but I can understand why she is freaked out. Let me know what you think it could be. I couldn't believe this was real. I'm still not sure that it is, but check this out. The squirrel is fanning himself while also relieving himself and plop, right on his buddy's back. I mean, look at that. There's no way this is real, right? It feels like there are too many variables that would need to align. Anyhow, I feel a little silly because I could be convinced either way, and now I need to know. Driving by a field in the middle of the day, someone saw a strange animal that seemed like a wolf or a dog at first glance. But when they looked more closely, it was clear that this animal was different. They grabbed a camera to film it. But my God, please hold it still. He saw this strange animal sitting up here eating corn. He called me to come and look, and I said, Bubba, that looks like a baby chubacabra. You know, I hunted coons you know, 20 years with dogs and all that. And I ain't never seen nothing look like that right there. Coon don't make that noise, or a possum, what makes that noise? 
I guess the chupacabra does, I don't know. <laughs> the animal in the cage is best I can tell from the view with some form of a small canine. It's never been proven to be uh, a unique species. It was always something out there that allegedly either caused harm or threatened to cause harm to people or their livestock. We never seen anything like that on our place before. If you can watch the video without getting a headache, notice that the animal has a lean build, long limbs, and many are saying that it's a chupacabra. For those that don't know, a chupacabra is a creature from legends and infamous for sucking blood out of animals. Like me, the person was baffled, not sure what to make of this. Now personally, I know that most chupacabra sightings end up being dogs or coyotes that are stricken with mange and just happen to be mistaken. But there really is something strange about these animals' lanky legs. They are really throwing me off. It almost looks like a baby moose or some type of mule deer. But anyhow, I'm interested in what you guys think. I can't really pin down what this could be. Mountain lions are skilled ambush hunters, pouncing on prey to catch it off guard. These animals have excellent eyesight and often track prey by watching their movements. Now these cats can be active throughout the day and the night, but they are most active during the early morning and evening. And now this video is kind of a double whammy because we get to see a really cool deer with a misshapen antler and witness the skillful hunting of a mountain lion. As you can see, the large mountain lion attacks the elk. The elk takes off and is actually able to survive this encounter. The man who owns the trail camera mentions that he still sees this elk. I mean, it's pretty easy to tell which one it is, am I right? It's got an antler growing straight out of its head. It's pretty hard to escape a mountain lion, so that antler must be lucky. Late one night as a couple were driving home, they spotted a large buck behaving strangely. They kept watching, but they couldn't figure out its unusual movements. As they got closer, they decided to stop and take a look. Before they started filming, the deer kept darting onto the road and off, onto the road and off. At one point, they thought it was hit by a car and just injured. Well, it didn't take them long to realize that a mountain lion was behind these unsettling maneuvers. Look at this thing. I mean, that moose is fighting for its life. In this clip, a few dogs bravely confront a mountain lion, but the large, strong cat holds its ground and fights back. Despite their advantage in numbers, these dogs are relatively small, and honestly, they'd probably need four more, because these guys are no match for this powerful lion. In the second clip, there's a brief video where four dogs are seen barking at this mountain lion on a rock formation. And I've seen a clip like this before. I'm not sure if it's the same one, but it looks very similar. Unfortunately, one of the dogs slips and falls with the cat down to this little embankment. You can hear the dog's handler shouting, and he quickly ends the video there, which leaves us a little uncertain about the dog's fate. However, I'm thinking if he had a clear shot, he said to heck with the dog, I'm out of here, and took off. In a captivating series of TikTok videos, a woman named Marlene takes us on a chilling journey detailing eerie occurrences in her own home. In the first video, Marlene shares footage of what appears to be an apparition in her bathroom. You can clearly see the shape of a toddler silhouette behind the glass partition. Marlene mentions the uneasy feeling she's been having, the sensation of being constantly watched. As she starts to film and tries to communicate with the figure, asking it questions, the only response she receives is a slight I movement. Only have one baby at Marlene my says today, that some of her children are currently grandma. with their grandmother. You can clearly hear my and baby in the background, in the you can actually crying. hear a baby crying from another room. She goes on to post a second video, and again, we're taken to her bathroom. However, this time, her husband points out something equally unsettling. 
The fire alarm has been mysteriously detached from the ceiling and water has started to pool on the floor. Completely freaked out by now and jumping to her third video, Marlene has resorted to using an app specifically designed for communicating with spirits. Let's listen as she initiates the conversation. Hello? Catherine. Mm -hmm. no. Who's Catherine? I'm close. No, I'm leaving. After hearing all of that, Marlene is visibly shaken and decides it's best to just leave the house. In an effort to dispel some of the skepticism surrounding the authenticity of her experiences, Marlene uploads another video. This one aims to prove that the silhouette seen in the shower isn't one of her children. She has one of her kids enter the shower and close the door. And I will say, the comparison makes it strikingly clear. The two silhouettes are definitely different. As with any phenomenon of this nature, the comments section was on fire. Of course, opinions varied widely, some suggesting it was a demonic entity masquerading as an innocent child, while others were absolutely sure that it was a prank and this was one of her children. Anyhow, I'd love to know what you guys think. It is definitely creepy. This video, which made its way online, captured some rather eerie occurrences in an office setting. The footage originates from security cameras placed within an unidentified office building. In the initial portion of the video, a woman can be seen diligently working at her desk. She seems to be focused and engrossed in her work. However, the door to her office suddenly swings open. Obviously surprised, she glances over her shoulder to see who came in, but no one was there. You can tell she just dismisses the strange event and kind of returns to her duties, but she hasn't forgotten. And for good reason, because just moments later she feels something, or someone, tug at her hair. She immediately is visibly shaken and gets out of that room. The video then switches to another location within the building. Here, another camera captures the man entering the office, seemingly looking for something. What he doesn't notice, though, is the wheelchair situated behind him, which begins to move all on its own. When he's finally ready to walk out of the room, he instinctively pushes it away, apparently oblivious to its mysterious movement moments earlier. Returning to the initial camera's viewpoint where the woman had her unsettling encounter, the footage now shows flickering lights. Now, a puzzling figure can be seen in the background. It's covered in white, yet due to the camera's position, the figure's shape remains indistinguishable. Both she and a colleague turn their attention to the mysterious figure, but in the blink of an eye, it disappears. Now, are we looking at a haunted office building here? Or is there some other reasonable explanation? Just an absolute insane video here. First of all, it's not lost on me that I live in America and don't have to deal with these types of things. With that being said as the video starts, I honestly thought the snake had the man, but then I realized it was much worse. He had the dog. The Good Samaritan biker has seen the incident and pulled over to help rescue the dog, who is deep within the grips of this snake. He tries to wrestle the dog from the snake, but that's going to be impossible. A few other bystanders stop by and join in the fight. A fight the dog will absolutely lose unless he's helped. Finally, by maneuvering a stick into the jaw of the snake, it appears they have freed the dog, who seems fine actually, does a little shake and walks away. And while the snake's meal was foiled, a grateful dog's life was saved. Incredible camera capture. The following footage originates from the Saskatchewan River in Canada. From the title, it might not be immediately clear, but I assure you, the video reveals what some have believed to exist only in the realm of myth. Are you a little skeptical? Keep watching. This intriguing video was recorded by a group of friends out on a fishing adventure. 
As you would expect, they were engaged in the usual fishing activities, baiting their hooks, eager for a catch. Then, unexpectedly, they noticed an odd creature lurking just a few feet away. Direct your attention to the right side of the video and you'll spot it. Did you see it? The creature has an uncanny resemblance to some kind of primate, yet significantly larger and appears to be walking upright with remarkable ease. We know that such a bipedal gait is a characteristic primarily associated with humans, not apes. Moreover, the creature was shrouded in a full coat of brown fur, contributing to its enigmatic presence. We can only guess what brought it to the riverbank, but one thing's clear, it wasn't looking for an audience. Sadly for the creature and the onlookers at the riverbank, it was noticed. Upon realizing it had been discovered, it made a dash for the nearby tree line. The spectators, baffled and unsure of what they were witnessing, also scrambled to leave the area. After sharing the footage online, the group is convinced they had a close encounter with Bigfoot. I must admit, the creature bears an uncanny resemblance to the legendary Bigfoot. Like in many other purported Bigfoot sightings, this creature didn't seem overly interested in human presence and only desired to be left alone. While part of me is eager to accept this as the real deal, my skepticism keeps me grounded, causing me to question the video's authenticity. The group's reaction seems a bit off, although that could just be my overanalyzing nature. But don't let me be a Donnie Downer. I'm curious to hear your thoughts on this. What's your take on this whole situation? Great video here reminding me of what my cat does to my dog. This sly fox pops over this wall, but this kitty isn't having it. I can tell this is a female cat by how protective she is. I don't even need to verify. It's awesome. She initiates contact and the fox has realized he's entered the wrong backyard. After a little back and forth, the fox submits and the cat allows him to slink away and out of the yard. Just a really cool camera capture. An Australian man, accompanied by a few of his friends, set out on an adventure to a remote river. Their equipment consisted of a simple rope, with which they planned to construct an improvised rope swing. After a diligent search, they identified what they believed to be the perfect spot for their entertainment. Carefully, they fastened the rope around a sturdy tree and prepared to dive into the water. However, as the first person enthusiastically swung out and released himself into the cool water, they all realized the grave miscalculation they had just made. Their chosen location was not the smartest. Unfortunately, this realization dawned too late for the brave, unsuspecting man who had been the first to test the rope swing. The man plunged into the water, landing uncomfortably close to a massive crocodile. Miraculously, the typically accurate and swift predator missed its snap at the man. Shock coursed through the man as he processed the near-death encounter. Adrenaline kicked in and he hurriedly swam back to shore, managing to evade the creature with no known injuries. It's almost unthinkable what would have happened had the crocodile not missed its usually accurate bite and gotten a hold of him. As we all know, crocodiles are formidable hunters and not to be messed with. A person or anything for that matter is virtually helpless in the water with a croc. This man, against all odds, was able to escape and I hope to God he realizes just how bad this could have been. He's lucky to get to live and tell this tale. Caught on a trail camera is an image that leaves me guessing. As I've discussed previously, there exist entities that seem to be plucked straight from a realm different than ours. And this snapshot encapsulates such a phenomenon perfectly. The sight of the creature in the image might send a shiver down your spine. With a coating of fur akin to that of a canine and back legs suggestive of a four-legged beast, the creature displayed is both fascinating and chilling. 
Strangely enough, it seems to be standing erect on its hind legs while maintaining a somewhat stooped posture. Its absence of a visible neck gives an impression of the head being directly affixed to its shoulders. The shape of the head defies description, and its eyes are peculiar. Oval, stark white, and devoid of identifiable irises or pupils. Its unnerving appearance could be straight out of a thriller, or perhaps it suggests something from beyond our planet. I would like to dismiss it as a simple prank, a costume prankster, or a trick of photo manipulation. But what my eyes perceive appears alarmingly genuine. This puzzling image leaves us with tons of questions. What is this thing? Where did it come from? Are the local residents near where this photograph was taken safe? Again, this peculiar creature has left a lot of people baffled. Nonetheless, I'm particularly interested in hearing your guys' thoughts on this one. What are your thoughts on this mysterious being caught on a trail camp? We all love our dogs, so imagine the distress the owners of this camera felt when they saw what almost happened to their beloved pet. This camera captures the moment a suspected microburst hit this small town and almost whisks this dog away. Luckily, it only took the canopy. For those unfamiliar, a microburst is similar to a tornado. It is a localized column of sinking air, or a downdraft within a thunderstorm, and is usually less than or equal to 2.5 miles in diameter. Microbursts can cause extensive damage at the surface, and in some instances, can be life-threatening. These weather events can cause wind speeds to increase dramatically, often causing damage similar to that of tornadoes. The sudden change in wind direction and speed can be extremely hazardous to aircraft, particularly during takeoff and landing. Fortunately, the family pet is safe and back on solid ground. Once again, we find our sense of reality being challenged by the different beings captured on trail and street cameras during what appears to be an ordinary day. In the video clip we have, we observe an entity moving quadrupedally, whether on the pavement or the road itself. Its broad gait and limb positioning mirror the characteristics of an oversized grasshopper. Online viewers are buzzing with speculation, as this creature, recorded from various viewpoints, is purported to be a skinwalker, eerily traversing the globe as if marking its territory. It really is amazing how these cameras can document just about any occurrence. However, without fail, there's a considerable number of viewers who express skepticism about the authenticity of the footage. They propose it might be a joke or perhaps some form of intricate deception. Anyhow, I'd love to know your thoughts on this, so please share your opinion. A segment of an Oregon beach had to be shut down temporarily after a mountain lion was spotted climbing a prominent rock formation, apparently on the hunt for seabirds. The cougar was seen on Sunday morning perched atop Haystack Rock, a celebrated site for observing seabirds located in Cannon Beach along the Oregon coast. The predator likely scaled the rock during low tide and found itself marooned when the tide came in. In response, local authorities cordoned off a portion of the beach and the nearby dunes to create a safe route for the cougar to return to its typical territory. District wildlife biologist Paul Atwood explained to the media that it was unusual to see a cougar venturing onto Haystack Rock. Cougars primarily feed on deer, but they will also consume elk, other mammals, and birds, noting that while coastal forest areas are ideal cougar habitats, it's uncommon for them to make their way onto Haystack Rock. On Monday, Oregon State Police and the Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife confirmed that the predator had vacated the rock, with tracks indicating that it had moved away from the area and the beach was subsequently reopened to the public. Haystack Rock, part of the Oregon Islands National Wildlife Refuge, is a protected wilderness area and a notable spot among bird watchers due to its resident population of nesting seabirds, including tufted puffins.
in a surprising catch, an 11-year-old boy Charlie reeled in a Pacu, a piranha relative, from a local pond in a suburban area north of Oklahoma City. Charlie's mother, Jana Clinton, narrated the peculiar incident to National Public Radio, expressing their surprise at finding such a fish with human-like teeth in a neighborhood pond, usually populated with bass or catfish. Before they could identify the fish, they released it back into the pond due to it being a catch and release zone, later realizing it was a mistake given its invasive nature. Since the incident, Charlie has been trying to recapture the Paku. If he does, his mother plans to get it mounted at a trophy, despite a neighbor's offer to cook it. The Oklahoma Department of Wildlife Conservation suspects the pack was a pet that outgrew its tank and was released into the wild. They warned against such actions, emphasizing their detrimental impact on native wildlife. This isn't the first instance of a Paxu being caught in Oklahoma, marking a peculiar trend in the state's waters. Pretty cool catch by the youngster. This catch and all of this attention will likely keep him a fisherman for the rest of his life. For our next clip, we head to a daytime scene in a backyard where a homeowner has spotted a rare meeting of two animals. We have a raccoon and a bobcat who seem to be just sizing each other up. Now, common knowledge tells us all that the bobcat has the upper hand and the raccoon should tread lightly. And as we watch, it appears the raccoon gets a little too close for comfort and the scuffle ensues. Look at the bobcat move. That's unreal. The agility is unparalleled. Very few species possess that type of quickness. The raccoon chases the bobcat off in another case of the bobcat, losing the battle to win the war. Bobcats need their skill set and to be firing on all cylinders to hunt and survive in the wild. This guy isn't going to risk injury in a fight with a raccoon with which he could handily take care of if need be. Let me know what you guys think about this. I saw someone mention the raccoon being able to put up a good fight with the bobcat. I don't know about that. What do you guys think? One morning, this guy out for his regular jog, right? Now, he takes the same route every day. But on this particular day, something's different. He spots this weird dark creature right in the middle of his path. He manages to get it on video, but even then, it's hard to tell what exactly this thing is. It's big and it looks like it's covered in black fur. The creature's there, doing something, but it's kind of hard to tell what it's up to. It kind of looks like it's eating something, but who knows? Now, when he zooms in on the video, you can see this creature's got these pointy ears kind of like what you'd see on a cat or a dog. But honestly, it's pretty hard to tell what this thing is. Is it attacking something? Is it just having breakfast? It's hard to say. All I know is it's kind of creepy. Now here's another weird part. If this thing's some kind of cryptid, some monster from the tales we've all heard, what's it doing out in broad daylight? Don't these things usually stick to the shadows? And if it's just a normal animal, then what kind? I'm really curious to hear what you guys think this thing could be. This intriguing footage was recorded by a woman venturing into the forest when she spotted something rather unusual. Within the highlighted red circle, you can make out a translucent moving figure that bears a humanoid form. The speculation is that this entity could be a so-called Glimmer Man, or invisible terrestrial entities as some like to call them. Sightings of such entities are relatively rare. However, eyewitness reports describe these beings as typically standing between 5 to 7 feet tall, often found in woodland areas and occasionally seen perched high in trees. They are said to exhibit exceptional agility, moving swiftly across both land and water. These entities are known for their ability to seamlessly blend into their surroundings. 
It's believed that if a glimmer man detects that it's been seen, it will shadow or tail you with the intent of urging you to depart from its territory. While reports of sightings are gradually increasing, the true nature of these beings remains a mystery. Are they extraterrestrial, or do they belong to the realm of the supernatural? I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. Direct your attention to the upper middle portion of your screen, where you can catch sight of a sizable, fur-coated entity meandering through the woodland. A closer look at the footage offers a reasonably lucid image of this mysterious being. Could it be a Sasquatch, perhaps? These creatures, often thought to belong to the primate family, are reputed to range in height from 6 to 15 feet. It's said that they give off a rather unpleasant odor, and are either perfectly quiet or known to emit a high-pitched shriek. Despite the fact that some biologists feel their existence remains unconfirmed. There appears to be a compelling body of evidence, including video recordings, such as the one you're watching now. This particular entity appears to be moving at a rather leisurely pace. Considering the scale of it, especially when you factor in the filming distance, it seems to be enormous. One may wonder, could this simply be a bear or something more elusive? What do you guys think? I always have a discussion with a buddy of mine about which is scarier. An alligator or a shark? Sharks may be considered scarier by some due to their portrayal in media and films such as Jaws. They are often depicted as predatory creatures of the open ocean, able to attack without warning. The great white shark, for instance, is renowned for its size, speed, and rows of sharp teeth. Additionally, being attacked in the open water where humans are not in their element can increase the fear factor associated with sharks. Alligators, on the other hand, can be terrifying due to their powerful jaws, agility both in water and on land, and their stealthy hunting style. They're often found in freshwater environments like swamps marshes, and rivers, especially in parts of the United States, which can make them a more common fear for people living in or visiting these areas. My argument is that the gator is much scarier, and a video like this is the reason. Gators will eat you, and if they aren't hungry, they'll bear you underwater for a later time. Sharks can be deadly, but they usually bite and let go. If you survive the shark bite, they don't often come and finish you off like the gator will. Anyhow, are you team gator or team shark? Let me know. In this next clip, we have an engaging piece of footage that's sure to pique your curiosity. Earlier this year, a man named AJ stumbled upon a set of enigmatic footprints that traced a path from the dense woods all the way to his home, located in Rockingham County, New Hampshire. Intrigued by these unanticipated visitors, AJ sought the opinion of New Hampshire's Fish and Game Department. Their verdict? The markings were attributed to a snowshoe hare. However, AJ wasn't entirely convinced and sought to solicit additional perspectives. The footprints displayed a distinctive characteristic. They were set in a walking pattern, as opposed to the inline pattern often exhibited by most animals. More notably, the prints were wider at the front, tapering towards the back. A departure from the typically wider rear ends observed in rabbits and hares. To give you a sense of scale, AJ's own footprints Imprinted in the fresh snow were included in the footage. Wearing a size 9.5 boot, his tracks were significantly smaller than the mystery prints, emphasizing the large size of our mysterious visitor. AJ's property extends over 2.5 acres, bordering a forest that becomes notably dense during summer months. A river courses through the area, adding to its appeal for potential wildlife. 
Photos shared by AJ reveal a verdant, closely knit canopy of trees in his backyard, while a summertime video showcases the exact location where the puzzling footprints were discovered. This evidence raises the tantalizing question. Are we looking at the work of an unusually large snowshoe hare, or could it be something more elusive? Perhaps even the infamous Bigfoot? I'd love to hear your thoughts and theories on this intriguing mystery. In this next clip, we bring your attention to an intriguing image derived from Google Maps, which some believe to have caught a phantom on film. Now, it might seem a bit far-fetched, but let's examine the evidence at hand. Take a moment to observe this photograph. Tucked behind the tree, a ghostly figure of colorless complexion can be seen. As we zoom in, the image sharpens, revealing the eerie pale face of a young girl. The theory circulating around this peculiar sighting proposes that the girl tragically met her end at this location years ago and her spirit has chosen to linger in her familiar surroundings. Intriguingly, her spectral appearance coincides with the time when Google was mapping the area. However, the narrative is not universally accepted. Some individuals argue that the figure captured is just an ordinary young girl who has passed away since the time the image was taken, inadvertently lending her a ghostly status in retrospect. I mean, that sounds like a ghost to me. On the other hand, Skeptics raise an alternative explanation, suggesting the image could be the product of adept digital manipulation. A product of Photoshop. So where does your opinion align in this mysterious debate? For our next adventure, we journey to the scenic landscapes of Minnesota where a local angler encountered the legendary Bigfoot, leaving behind the footprints now displayed on your screen. While peacefully casting his fishing line in the heart of the river, the man spotted an enormous creature rise from the depths of the water before swiftly vanishing into the bordering woodland. He swiveled around to confirm his sighting, and there it was. The creature of folklore and campfire stories, standing tall and imposing, Bigfoot. With his heart pounding and his hands shaking, he felt a certainty that this encounter with the legendary beast would be his last. However, something out of the ordinary happened. The creature merely stood its ground, locked eyes with him, then retreated into the surrounding foliage. As if a switch had been flipped, the man's fear dissolved, replaced by a surge of curiosity that propelled him to chase after the beast. He still isn't sure why he did this. His desire to secure tangible evidence of this extraordinary encounter overrode his initial fear. However, by the time he reached the spot where the creature had been, it had vanished. The only remnants of its presence being the unnaturally large footprints it had left behind. The enormity of these imprints stood as powerful proof of his encounter with the enigmatic creature, leading many to believe in his encounter with the cryptid very very interesting so what does everyone think what's your take on this captivating camera capture if those footprints don't belong to bigfoot what other possibilities are there outside of it all being a complete hoax as we continue to experience rapid advancements in technology its intersection with nature takes us to surprising new frontiers. One such development is the training of eagles to intercept drones, a practice which has been adopted by several law enforcement agencies around the world. Eagles, known for their sharp vision and lethal hunting skills, are highly capable of engaging with fast-moving aerial targets. Their keen eyes can spot a drone from a considerable distance, and their strong talons are perfectly adapted to snatch smaller prey from the air, making them uniquely suited for this task. A notable example of this unusual blend of nature and technology can be seen in the Netherlands, where the Dutch National Police started training eagles to intercept drones back in 2016. 
This initiative was in response to the potential security threats posed by unauthorized drone flights, particularly in restricted or populated areas. The trained eagles are taught to identify drones as prey and are capable of capturing them mid-flight before safely depositing them in a designated area. However, this practice is not without its challenges and critics. Some conservationists have raised concerns about the potential physical harm to the eagles due to drones rotating blades. Despite efforts to protect the eagles with custom-made armor, the risk can't be entirely eliminated. Consequently, researchers are continually exploring methods to ensure the eagles' safety while harnessing their natural abilities. In conclusion, the training of eagles to intercept drones serves as an intriguing example of leveraging the inherent skills of these majestic birds of prey to address modern security challenges. It underscores the fascinating potential of bio-inspired solutions. Even as we continue to explore more sustainable, effective, and safe ways to integrate this practice into our security system. An intriguing video posted on Instagram by a user features footage from their Ring Home security system. The video captures an unusual incident occurring in the dead of night. An enigmatic broad apparition can be seen manipulating a hammock situated on the left before it effortlessly floats across the yard. Toward the end, it seems to drift from the right to the left at the rear of the yard. This video quickly gained viral status, inciting speculation from thousands of viewers about the strange occurrence. Some suggested a playful comparison to Casper the Friendly Ghost, while others conjectured it could be smoke or vape. Undoubtedly, it's a mystery that is drumming up some intrigue. Let me know what you guys think we're looking at here. Continuing our journey into the realm of the unexplained, we encounter a creature whose existence flirts with the boundaries of scientific acceptance and rational thought. Allow your curiosity to delve into this intriguing video. Did you catch that fleeting figure? This video was recorded by an individual who is convinced that the creature displayed on your screens could be none other than the elusive chupacabra. With its bald skin and eyes that emit an eerie glow in the darkness, it's not hard to see why he drew such a conclusion. The footage portrays the creature engrossed in foraging through garbage, undoubtedly in search of food. However, once it senses the staring eyes of nearby humans, its demeanor shifts to a more guarded stance. The creature's alien-like appearance doesn't correspond to any recognized animal species, causing an unsettling ripple of fear and uncertainty among the local population. The doubts cast over the competency of local authorities only add to the anxiety. Given the macabre tales associated with chupacabras, one can hardly blame the locals for their apprehension. Yet, we are compelled to face a less fantastical possibility. Upon consultation with wildlife experts, it appears this creature might be simply a severely ill raccoon that has lost its fur. However, the plot thickens. The individual who filmed this uncanny scene remains skeptical of this explanation. He believes it may be a deliberate attempt by the town to downplay a possible chupacabra sighting to avoid disrupting the influx of tourists. Despite the raccoon-like resemblance, he insists the creature is too large to fit the description. Could this be what a bald raccoon looks like? Or is there more to this story? I'd love to hear your thoughts. In a daring rescue mission that seems more like a cinematic tale than reality, a spirited Jack Russell named Louie had an adventurous brush with fate when he took a shocking 60 meter plunge down one of the highest waterfalls in the UK. The waterfall, known as Grey Mare's Tail, situated in Dumfries and Galloway, witnessed the heart-stopping event one Sunday afternoon. Louie, in a remarkable display of resilience, endured the fall miraculously well, 
coming out of it somewhat unscathed with only a minor limp to show for his dramatic tumble. The ordeal, while terrifying, also highlighted the extraordinary efforts of the volunteer-based Moffat Mountain Rescue Team. Once alerted to the plight of the adventurous canine by the owner, around 15 dedicated rescue members rushed to the scene. Demonstrating their exceptional skills, they promptly assembled a rope system to descend a lone rescuer armed with a specialized animal rescue bag to Louis's location. Found in one of the lower pools, Louis was then carefully ensconced into the rescue bag and deftly transported back up the precipitous terrain. The rescuers used their special rescue equipment designed explicitly for accessing the challenging lower pools of Grey Mare's tail, getting Louis safely back on solid ground. In an image that could melt the coldest of hearts, the Moffat members were captured in a photograph reuniting the intrepid Jack Russell with his visibly relieved owner. A spokesperson for the rescue group reported, Louis was pulled out of the bottom of the waterfall alive and was very pleased to be reunited with his owner. The owner, though not local to the area, was provided with contact details of a local veterinarian by the team for further checkups, ensuring Louis would be thoroughly examined after his ordeal. The spokesperson further praised the owner's prompt action in alerting the authorities, leading to a secure and successful search and rescue operation. In a final note of goodwill, everyone involved wished Louis a swift recovery. So awesome. This harrowing event underscores the invaluable role of rescue services and serves as a heartwarming story of resilience and timely aid, showcasing the best of human empathy for our furry friends. In today's encounter, an unfortunate owl found itself in a dire situation. Tangled up in a fishing line, the young creature was trapped, terrified, and unable to escape. A courageous individual happened upon the scene and recognized the distress of the feathered creature. Determined to assist, they carefully worked to untangle the owl from the constraining fishing line that kept it tethered to a tree. This precarious operation was no small task as the objective was to free the owl without inducing further panic. With the owl finally detached from the main line, another challenge presented itself. A small piece of the line still clung to the owl, potentially leading to a lifetime of inconvenience if the owl were to take off. Armed with a pair of nail clippers, the rescuer painstakingly started to cut away the remaining line. As the process continued, a noticeable change came over the owl. It seemed to understand that its human helper meant no harm. The fear in its eyes began to dissipate, replaced by a watchful curiosity. With the last piece of line successfully removed, one key question remained. Was the owl capable of flight? The little bird clung tightly to the rescuer's fingers, perhaps trying to gather its strength. The owl seemed young and rather small, Concerns arose about the potential damage to its wing due to prolonged entanglement. Nevertheless, there were no visible signs of injury, and the rescuer held on to hope that the bird was simply wary and disoriented. In a breathtaking moment, the tiny owl finally took to the air, gliding across the lake to the safety of the other side. With that triumphant flight, a successful rescue mission was concluded, leaving one less creature in distress in the world. I'm a sucker for a bully getting what's coming to him. So watch as this corgi goes after this little poodleish dog and starts slinging him around by his handkerchief. His buddy Mr. Cat who's sitting nearby isn't having that though. The cat goes off on this dog. The corgi doesn't have any idea what has hit him. The dog eventually gets the heck out of Dodge and I bet he isn't going to try that again. This is just incredible footage. 
He's got his own stuff to do in his head, really. Oh, my God! Get back! Clarence! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Let's watch it again. It looks like the woman is talking to a neighbor or maybe the mailman when she notices her dog must be attempting to jump out her window. What is this little guy thinking? We'll never know. But more importantly, how about the reflexes of the owner? She saw it all unfold and sprung into action, catching her dog and avoiding some very serious vet bills at the very least. Oftentimes, people will freeze in moments like these. Not this lady. What a legend. Another instance in which a woman saves her dog can be seen here. No! Get no! We see as one of her many dogs falls in her pool. She rushes out and without hesitation jumps in the freezing water. So, a few things here. That water is freezing cold. Ice has formed on the surface so luckily she was home and this didn't happen at another time. To me that dog looked like he just sunk. I'm guessing he couldn't poke back through the ice. Lastly, and I'm not going to go too hard on her. But where is her pool cover? Everyone in the comments of the original video is crucifying her over it not being covered. I'll tell you what, I bet she bought one after this incident. Nevertheless, I'm glad everyone is safe. You know how to spot a tourist at the beach? He or she is the one feeding the seagulls. Seagulls are one of the biggest scavengers on the planet. As highly opportunistic and versatile birds, they have been known to consume a wide range of unusual items. They love fast food and have been spotted taking it right out of people's hands. To wash it down, there have even been reports that gulls have consumed leftover alcoholic drinks. And it actually leads to tipsy behavior. None of the birds in this clip are getting drunk. But here are a few instances of them stealing cell phones out of people's hands. Staying with the bird theme. A camera inside a birdhouse has spotted this little guy hiding out. And for good reason. You can see as a domestic cat is trying to stick its paw in there and make a meal out of him. We all know how cunning cats are. Where there's a will, there's a way. It seems as if the bird is going to escape this one. The star of our first video clip is quite the character. Standing at only 22 inches high, this is the Vietnamese mouse deer, thought to have been extinct for years. Here's a trail cam video of him. The fanged mouse deer, or Vietnamese mouse deer, is a fascinating creature. This animal is much smaller than typical deer species and is found only in Vietnam. Since mouse deer are so small, they are able to avoid being seen by predators. These mouse deer are very elusive. They have actually been able to avoid being seen for three decades. Beginning in the latter part of the 20th century, reports of sightings of mouse deer gradually dwindled, and then stopped altogether after a period of a few years. Following decades of decreasing numbers, experts had concluded that this extinct species of deer had finally died out. So you can imagine their shock when a hiker claimed to have seen a mouse deer-like animal. Authorities were initially skeptical, but after setting up several trail cams in the area of the sightings, they were able to capture images of this incredible creature. Hours and hours of footage as well as hundreds of still images were captured by trail cameras showing a solitary mouse deer foraging for food and keeping a wary eye out for any danger. Fast forward to today, researchers are trying to get a count of wild mouse deer and figure out what they can do to restore their population. 
A man by the name of Alex from New South Wales, Australia caught something absolutely terrifying on his trail camera. The camera was mounted in a very remote area of the woods behind his house. He would occasionally pass this spot when he would take a walk to clear his mind. He said, however, that every time he walked past this spot, he got a weird feeling. It would get really quiet. All wildlife noises would stop. He thought he was entering some sort of vortex or gateway somewhere. He decided to put up a trail camera. For weeks, the camera didn't catch anything. No creatures, no people, no animals, nothing. That all changed one night as he was combing through footage and this horrifying image popped up. The footage is pretty unsettling. You can see the creature's glowing dead eyes. Glowing eyes are not generally a characteristic of humans. And you can see the head of an odd humanoid alien looking creature looking directly into the camera. Many nocturnal animals such as raccoons and coyotes have glowing eyes, but not generally humans. I'd say this demonstrates that this creature is not human. Some people say the creature resembles a skinwalker. It looks paranormal to me. What do you guys think about this creature? This next video is pretty crazy. Environmentalists immediately started looking for the elk known as the elk with the tire around his neck after his discovery was first reported in 2019. This elk would occasionally appear on trail cameras, including this one used by hunters. So much so that it took them two years to pinpoint the elk's exact location. When they finally succeeded in doing so, they used a tranquilizer dart to take down the elk. They needed him down long enough to remove the tire from his neck. Unfortunately, the elk's antlers had to be removed as part of this task, which probably came as quite a shock to him when he woke up. Fortunately, elk grow new antlers every spring, so he wouldn't be without them for too long. Very cool video. For our next clip, we're heading back to the Appalachian Mountains. An uploader was asking for help identifying some gruesome screaming they heard. They explained that they don't have any neighbors and there are no native animals that would make this sound. Here's the sound captured by the trail camera in their barn. Insane if you ask me. Does anyone have any idea what this could be? The following clip was taken by a TikTok user in the UK. It shows the uploader's cat engaged in a tense standoff with a fox, which he claims was attempting to steal an egg from their garden. This particular cat is not going to give up that egg without a fight though. Despite the fact that the vast majority of cats would never risk going up against an adult fox, this one doesn't seem to care. The cat eventually gets the fox to back down with a series of hisses and stern meows before chasing it off. If you haven't noticed by now, take a look at this courageous cat. He's missing a front leg, which makes his victory over the fox all the more impressive. This cat is not one to be messed with. Okay everyone, since I botched the last hidden lion video so badly, I apologize, here's another one. As you can see in the picture, there are two lions lazily laying by this little creek bed. Can you find the third one? Okay, I'll give you a hint. The two male lions are laying down, the female is hidden. Okay, she is hidden right over here. A stealthy little lady. Honestly, she's probably just trying to get away from the guys. There are literally hundreds of thousands of purported Bigfoot sightings each year in the United States of America alone, but only a shockingly small percentage of them have been caught on trail cameras. As we see here in the upper right corner, we can make out what appears to be a hairy bipedal creature leaving the clearing. You can see the back of the animal heading off into the thicker part of the woods. What makes this picture more believable is how the deer is reacting to him. The deer was calmly checking out the trail camera, but is clearly scared of the strangely large animal behind him and looks to be keeping a close eye on it to protect itself from a surprise attack. I'll leave this one up to you guys. Is this real? Is this just a bear? Or is it another Bigfoot hoax? This next clip proves how amazing cats are. As you can see, a toddler and a cat are just hanging out together. 
The toddler beelines for the steps, but the cat is not having it. Not on my watch, he says, and pushes the boy back to safety. Another angle shows the cat watching the boy intently as he crawls away. The cat is aware of the danger of those steps. The boy even pauses and looks back at the cat. And boom, he's off to save the day. Just an amazing clip. A creepy surveillance video showed this creature walking down a dark road. The video quality is pretty poor, but you can make out a crab-like creature. What is this thing? What makes it most believable to me is the dog's reaction. Coming up. He glances at it and then gets out of the way. I have very little info on this video, so if you know more, let me know in the comments, please. These next short clips are a little different but part of a really cool series released on Instagram by a channel called The Dark Side of Nature. Check these out and let me know what you think in the comments. The Stygian Owl, also known as the Devil's Owl, is mostly found in Mexico and parts of Central and South America. At first glance, he looks to be a pretty normal owl. He is standard size and has a conventional color, but this guy has one very distinct feature. As you can see here, the owl's eyes are yellow. However, that can change very quickly. These ominous looking birds have reflective discs that give their eyes a bright red appearance when exposed to daylight which makes them extremely creepy. They have even been confused with Mothman, the cryptid that terrorizes the night sky with its piercing red eyes. Despite their outward appearance, however, these owls do not hold any special powers or pose any threats to humans, but really cool to look at. In July of this year, a man named Douglas Windsor, a Kentucky native, took to Facebook to share some spine-tingling footage that he shot. This was captured on a surveillance camera set up outside his home. Douglas explains that one evening he was checking his security cameras and was astounded to see a gaunt, glowing humanoid figure stalking his front yard. I'd say that was a pretty accurate description, hunched over and moving slowly across the man's yard, with his back bowed and his arms stretched slightly outwards, eager to seize the first victim it comes across. When mainstream news reported this, it didn't take long for other Kentucky residents to take notice. They started sharing their encounters with comparable creatures. According to one Twitter user, they'd seen a pale humanoid figure running across their neighbor's lawn. Another mentioned something about a creature disappearing into the forest. No one has been able to identify what is on camera. In this clip, we've stumbled on two cats enjoying a romantic night under the stars. Caretakers explain that it didn't take long for these two to become acquainted. They have a very unique bond and now they're inseparable. 